This Flipper Zero board is a joint collaboration between DA Tech Labs and us at Valley Tech Custom Solutions. It allows you to connect a Raspberry Pi Zero W with an e-ink display to your Flipper Zero. And our newest board comes with a pinout on the top to attach a Neo Geo GPS module, or any GPS module at that. We'll start out by attaching some headers. We'll start by adding some flux. Now that we got the pins soldered on, we can clean up the board with some isopropyl alcohol and hook up the Raspberry Pi. Also, keep in mind, if you're ordering one of these boards off our website, they do come pre-installed with headers, whether it's assembled or unassembled or just the plain board. Now, before we attach our Raspberry Pi Zero W to our board, we want to make sure that we flash the SD card. So we'll head over to the Ponagachi repository by JF Felony on GitHub, go to Releases, and download your firmware. If you're using a Raspberry Pi Zero W, it's recommended that you download the 32-bit. Afterward, head over to Imager, choose your device. We're going to go to Custom, and we're going to hit the Ponagachi 32-bit and choose your storage. Make sure on custom settings, you press no. Then plug your SD card to your Raspberry Pi Zero W. You get your e-ink display and check what version it is. In this case, it's a V4. Wave share, e-ink display, V4. Attach your Raspberry Pi Zero to the board and make sure that the e-ink display is facing on this side where it says Ponagachi board. And there you have it, an assembled board. But now we have to flash it. Plug in a micro USB cable to the second port right here. This port only carries power. This port carries data. Also, make sure you download the RNDIS driver available online and install it. Afterwards, you go to settings and you should see Ethernet port right here. We go to IP assignment and edit. Click manual, IPv4, and for IP address, we put 10.0.0. 0.1 subnet mask 255 three times 0, 0.0 and preferred DNS 8.8.8.8 and we press save. After we've done that, we make sure we download PuTTY. Now in PuTTY, we put host name 10.0.0.2. Make sure it's SSH and press open. Log in as PI, PI. The password is raspberry, all lowercase. Now here we highlight sudo ponagachi wizard and we right click and press enter. Press N, press Y, name your Ponagachi, add your network if you like, attach your MAC address to your phone with your iOS or Android if you like, display, and in this case we're gonna put WaveShare underscore four, and pick your background color. And just like that, it's ready to be attached to your flipper